let's do another numerical for resistors combination but this time we have to find the value of current i have a resistor this which is in series with a parallel combination right and they are connected with the source let us say this this is 6 volts i'm taking any random value 3 ohms 6 ohms and this is 2 ohms i want to know what would be the value of current flowing through 3 ohm resistance okay so what exactly is happening suppose whatever i amount of current flowing in the circuit this current is going to get distributed when the current faces a parallel combination right so this current will be bifurcated into i1 and i2 right and then the current will recombine to form the main current i and the same current will come back in the circuit so this is a simple formula that whatever current leaves the circuit comes back in the circuit or whatever current leaves this battery will come back exactly the same so even if it is 4 ampere it will be divided into 2 or 2 or 1 or 3 it will entirely depends on the value of resistor remember a remember a sentence that current seeks the least resistive path current seeks least resistive path that means current will be more at a point where there is less resistance so by just looking at the diagram you can always say that i1 is greater than i2 okay now let's solve first of all to find the value of i1 and i2 i'll have to know the value of current i that is the main current and to do that i'll have to solve the whole resistance of the circuit right so let's start the combination parallel 1 upon r p parallel thing is 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 6 it's going to give me 2 plus 1 which is 3 upon 6 1 by 2 1 upon rp so resistance in parallel is equal to 2 reciprocated this is 2 and that is 2 so that gives me you know you got my point that this hole is resistance in parallel which is equal to 2 ohms so this 2 and this 2 the combination and this 2 are in series right now if you are still not getting my point this circuit can be redrawn like this okay 2 2 and 6 this is what i was saying so resistance in series would be 2 plus 2 that is 4 ohms so 4 ohm is the total resistance of the circuit okay so total current would be total voltage upon total resistance total voltage is 6 total resistance is 4 that gives me 3 upon 2 or 1.5 amperes we can solve further using this value or that value anyways I will try to uh, neglect the decimal thing I am going to use 3 by 2 only it just eases the calculation that is it now see what hap what actually is happening I will tell you when I redraw the circuit it is easier to explain the distribution of voltage in the circuit as I told you in series and parallel combination thing that whatever voltage has been applied here we have applied right now 6 volts so this 6 volt is going to get consumed throughout the circuit that means it, this might have taken 1 this have taken 4 5 or 3 or 3 or 2 or 4 they can take any values depending on the value of resistance but the point is the 6 volt is going to get completely utilized in the circuit okay so i am going to calculate what voltage did this resistor took v1 and i am going to calculate what resistor this this resistor took that is v2 so v1 is v1 would be equal to current into resistance what is current the current flowing through the the main current is 2 ampere this is 3 by 2 ampere so we already know the main current which is 3 by 2 amperes so the 3 by 2 into 2 using the formula v is equal to i r right current flowing through this resistor is 3 by 2 ampere and the value of resistance is 2 so 3 by 2 into 2 that gives me 3 ampere right no 3 volt okay so this is 3 volt 3 volt has been utilized by this resistor that means 3 volt will be utilized by this resistor as well so they in com in parallel combination they have actually used 3 volts right now so 3 volts in parallel voltage is always equal so 3 volts are is applied to both this and this 
in parallel voltage is equal to this has also received 3 volts and this has also received 3 volt so now we can calculate the value of current which is i1 how i1 is equal to v upon r1 and i2 is equal to v upon r2 i don't want to write the value of i2 but i want to explain another point so first of all let's calculate i1 which is v is 3 resistance r is also 3 i'll get 1 ampere and here v is 3 r is 6 i'll get 3 by 6 1 by 2 or 0 0.5 ampere the point i want to explain we have already done this formula that we have already solved this numerical that i wanted to calculate the value of i1 i've got the value of i1 right i want to tell you another thing that what is i1 plus i2 this is 1 plus 0 0.5 which is 1.5 ampere and what was the total current 1.5 ampere so total current will all, all will always get bifurcated into two parts or three parts or four parts but the total sum will be exactly the same as the main current right this is how we solve series and parallel circuits